previously on City of Angels. Step back, Mr. Lewis, and take a seat. You're blowing snot and germs all over my clipboard. Excuse me. What is your name? Evelyn Walker. Who's asking? But when you talk that way about Lillian Price, you sound like a jealous female, which I know you're not. But I'm not incapable of jealousy. If I didn't show a little, you'd think I didn't care. I know you care. I want you to know that I have very real feelings for Grace. And I think that if you just gave me the chance to show you that I'm a decent human being, you won't be disappointed. The issue is, I don't want my little girl climbing between the sheets with a nice Jewish doctor who thinks he can get over on me just because he believes he's every girl's daddy's dream come true. Daddy, please. That wasn't so bad. Are you in line for hospital director at UCLA? Yes. You lied to me and every other doctor in this hospital about your commitment to Angels of Mercy. You're a hypocrite. Ben. Until you are gone, you and me are business. Nothing else. <laughs> Find you some crutches and get you on your way. Please, Morning. Hi, Jesse. Grace. Sorry, I can't stop right now. When you transfer a kid to children's, it costs us a fortune. And it makes us look like we can't take care of sick babies. I called the unit. They said there weren't any beds. Who told you that? The ICU fellow. And the night nursing supervisor. But they never spoke to each other. Is that our fault? Well, we had no way of knowing. Well, then we can't take care of sick babies or anybody else. An inappropriate transfer, no authorization, no communication. And all I'm hearing is, it's not my fault. Dr. Lillian Price, dial administration stat. Dr. Price, administration stat. I can't do this alone. Either people start taking some personal responsibility for their work and begin to think like a team, or we're all going to be looking for a job. She just fire everybody? Dr. Weiss, date and time your notes and orders or work someplace else. Doctor, you please call extension 419. You patron stat? Dr. Lillian Price, uh, Dr. Irving, Dr. Irwin Cutler. Oh. Joint commission. We weren't expecting Jaco for a week. As I was explaining to Mr. Harris, this is a new pre-survey program. You can be proud that we've chosen Angels of Mercy as our test site. Yes, proud, yes, proud indeed. But Dr. Cutler, uh, our J. Cole preparation is like an intricate symphony. But I'm, I'm concerned, as is Dr. Price, at any premature performance. Would only confirm your readiness for the full survey next week. Shall we? As you can see, we've color-coded the linoleum. Not a survey criterion. It never has been. Uh, why don't we head this way? I'd like to ask this fellow a few questions. Good day, brothers, sister. Check out the morning meal. Get you the right breakfast, and it's all downhill. Cutler, Jacob, could you point out the nearest fire extinguisher, please? Well, that be like pissing in the wind, man. Hell, this old barn would go up so fast, you best kick back and just trip on the pyrate. <clears throat> State the mission of your department. Mission? Mission? Uh, but, you know, that brings to mind the uh, labors of Father Junipero Sierra. Now, did you know, Mr. Cutler, that... Uh, Dr. Cutler, let's say the uh, nurse uh, informs you that your next patient has just been switched to a 2-gram sodium, 1,800-calorie diabetic diet. I'm cool. I got extra trays on board. Our kitchen is ever vigilant and in quality, second to none. Second to none. Talk is cheap. Polonius? All right. Dr. Uh, please call <laughs> Coming at you with a low salt, low calorie breakfast to champions. Go! Dear God! That must be a special order. Merciful 
22 years in the field, and never have I witnessed a violation so egregious. Why, if I hadn't randomly intercepted this, this, this nutcase, that tray might have been delivered to a poor, unsuspecting patient. We fully understand your concern, fully. Um, we'll be prepared, won't we, Dr. Price? And one last thing. The direct and final responsibility for the Jayco visit belongs to you and you alone. Botch this survey, and your resume won't be worth a roll of toilet tissue. Good day to you both. What do you need? I'll have your full cooperation. Full and unequivocal, as always. Full and unequivocal. Let's start at the top. Rushing to my oh, Jayco yeah. planning conference, Dr. Turner? Uh, no, the residents lined up three hernias and a pile of nidal today, and I might need to add on a common duck. You're aware that surgery is being surveyed along with every other department in the hospital? And I'm working hard to get us ready, honest. Well, if you can't make the conference this morning, maybe you'll stop by when I meet the house staff at four? I'll do my best. Good. Lillian? Lillian. Last time we spoke, I, I lost my temper, and I'm sorry for that. Your, your uh, career goals are your business, no concern of mine. I could have been more upfront with my career plans. Point is, you're here to do a job and you're getting it done. That's all that matters. Okay. Okay. It's just. I feel like ever since I've got here, we've been on an emotional roller coaster. One day we're making out in a broom closet, and the next we're at each other's throat. Yeah. If I said anything to stir up old emotions. Again, I apologize. Truce? Neurology clinic, first open appointment, four months. Four months? Miss, I got an acute neurologic crisis. Everything spins. Think I don't recognize you coming in here to get your disability renewed? Spin out. Next. Dr. Blue, please call extension 419. Oh, sweet thing. With a little one on the way, huh? <sighs> When's the blessed event? Fifteen more weeks. Oh. First time? Mm-hmm. Boy or girl? Boy, big boy, like his daddy. Now, that's a miracle. Say, couldn't you do a little miracle for a poor old fellow like me? I'm overbooking for next Thursday, just this one time. Thank you so very much. Pull out those lines for me. I swear, Evelyn, the pending arrivals have turned you into a certified cupcake. <laughs> Even as if this crowd ain't enough, we got a pile of Jayco crap to overflow a dumpster, courtesy of Dr. Lillian Price. Meanwhile, the pending arrival is kicking up a storm. You mind if I get some fresh air? Oh, sure, baby. Mm, but please promise me you'll come back as the Iron Lady. The Iron Lady might have retired. Evelyn from outpatient. Mm-hmm. Christopher 70. 
One. Over, let's line her up. Three. She's a legend. I'm surprised the car didn't bounce off. Cute. 68 systolic. Elvis is crunched. Maybe her spine, too. Jackson, slam in a groin line. Did you call OB? Nikki Moiser Clinic, doctor. On the way. She's got attention pneumo. Let me have a 16 angio calf. Angio calf on the way. Hit it. You need a chest tube tray for Dr. Williams? Yes, doctor. Oh, two sets. Still only 87. Let's get her intubated. Hey, Nikki. How far along is she? 25 weeks. The pregnancy was going great until now. Where's the Doppler? This is what we've got. Come on. Ring the scope. You got O negative ready? They're getting it. I'm ready for the Pluravac. We got the O negative ready? Case Jackson ever gets that line in. Checking the units right now. Come on, move it, man. I got hernias on the schedule today. Feel for the femoral. It's just for your own. All right, here's the line. Let's have that tube. Tube's in. Where's X-ray? Lester's on route. Nope. Folks, it's either a dead Doppler or a dead baby. Hang on a second. Starting the first unit. Man, I nearly slept through the beat. Dr. Price just had us for a half hour talking about radiation badges. Pressure's 92. Call for the ultrasound machine. They know we want it, but they're so swamped upstairs. That's the Iron Lady. Hey, Bernie, this is Evelyn Walker over here. Put the chest Give me a second. Look at the ultrasound for old Evelyn. Go, go. Boy, I figured any car would have bounced off. Here you go. Love to know where you keep that hidden, Arthur. Me too, Arthur. Come on, little one. Talk to us. Walkins on the horn. What can I tell him? Yes. Come, the baby's alive. He left it to science, and the residents went and carved it up. Mm-hmm. Where's Wendell? Eight inches. Mm. But you know it shrivels a little when you're dead, so. Mm -hmm. Hey, boss. Hey, thank you for sending me and the missus to that embalmers convention. Talk about wild. How in the hell did a human hand get on a food tray? Well, they bump it up something. Depends on what, Wendell. No, they don't no sell it when they're done. Oh. Excuse me a minute. Mm -hmm. Well, you should have seen what. Ah. Depends on what. Right hand and left. Right. You got a right hand was sent in to be dissected at the residence anatomy lab. Hello. They changed the dissection. Alt F7 to the penis. Huh. Yep. Switched it over and signed out the hand. Ain't the residents notice the difference? Who made the change? I got that right here. Dr. Price switched the pro section. Yes, she did. And then signed out the hand. Did indeed. <laughs> Dr. Price must be building herself a right hand man. Mm, that penis would have made one useful accessory. I could have your job for this. Fabricating a J.C.O. survey, uniting the employees in a poisonous lie, humiliating me in public. Just who is Dr. Irving Cutler? He's a friend from Oakland Memorial. I was only trying to capture your attention so I could get this hospital through the Jayco side visit. Why don't you stop worrying about my attention and concentrate on the medical staff, which is all you are hired to take care of? A medical staff needs a functioning hospital to work in. Your departments are a dysfunctional menagerie. Like you give a rat's rear end about how this hospital functions. You think I don't know about UCLA? Angels of Mercy is a stepping stone to you and nothing more. What has UCLA got to do with anything? My present job is to fix this place. Who cares what comes next? Please don't insult me. Why don't you write out your contract, doctor? Take it easy. Relax a little. You're biting off your nose despite your face, Ron. We flunk the survey. Ed O'Malley will know who to come looking for. I can just imagine the nature of your special relationship with Ed O'Malley. 
Why can't you deal with me as a fellow administrator with comparable managerial credentials? You have no credentials to manage a hospital like this one. Let me tell you something, doctor. Oakland Memorial is a 300-bed hamburger joint. Let me tell you something. Angels of Mercy is a chronic, festering embarrassment, and it has no business being accredited. Hello. I'll be right there. Eveline Walker from Outpatient was run over in the parking lot. In the parking lot? Is, is, is that an OSHA violation? Did anyone speak to risk management? Oh. Do you know the man, Miss Lopez? Told the police already. His name is Donnie Rafferty. He lives in my building. He's a total psycho. You maybe let us finish up here, please. I'm sorry, Doc, but the sooner I get a safe... Three times I went to the police and told them about Donnie Rafferty, who's always talking to me and bothering me and following me when I go someplace. Three times. We'll get him, Miss Lopez. <laughs> yeah. Now you'll get him. I told them that this guy was bad news. And they said they couldn't do anything until he did something first. Well, now he did something, didn't he? I'm a lot luckier than that lady and her baby. She saved me from being raped. She gonna be okay, doctor? She's pretty badly injured. It's too soon to tell. All this happened because you guys didn't do your job. You didn't listen to me. You doctors have to save her. And you have to save her baby. Let me get you some pain pills to take home, okay? Hey, the script pad, please. Fractures, malgains, and T12 non displaced. Free fluid in the belly on ultrasound. We have 25 week pregnancy with premature labor. I thought you were coming right up. Well, I'm pretty sure she needs to be explored. The question is whether to do an angio first. How's the baby? Not great. With each contraction, I'm seeing significant late decelerations. Pritz down to 21 again. Okay, then. We gotta take a look. Uh, tell Angie we'll call him later. Let's move it, people. Uh, can you cover all this on top of the day cases? No problem. I'm not arguing, but shouldn't you be sure you've got enough volunteers to stay late? I don't have enough. I have everybody. Does the anesthesia attending always come down for the trauma runs? This is one of our own. Everyone wants to help. Ben, are you sure you've got all the bleeding control? Everything I can get to. I can't open this public with a toma. We need to get over to Angio. Well, first, we need to get her off the table. Nikki, I'm not seeing clot one here. Could this be amniotic fluid embolism? Probably secondary to an abruption. I say we deliver the baby right now. No, that's gutsy. Every time I check it, the heart rate is slower. Another hour of maternal hypotension. The kid won't be viable. Anna, you're awfully quiet over there. Delivery is an obstetric decision, but if that's what you decide to do, we'll take care of the baby. Is it true that our statistics with the premium is a little below the national norms? We're a level three NICU with the sickest babies in the city. You deliver the baby, we'll support him. Not to rain on the parade, but what happens if we can't get the bleeding from the uterus stopped? You tell him, Mickey. Your first child will be your only child. You still think go ahead, though? I think it's the best chance for both of them. Anna, you got your itty-bitty scope, your surfactant, whatever the hell else you need? We're ready, Ben. This kid doesn't go up to be the president. It won't be our fault. Life to Dr. Moy. Chase, though, ending about two miles from here, when a police suspect got out of the car and allegedly fired at police. They were turned... The guy that did the hit and run, bring him into the ER. You need a hand? Uh, got the ER covered, but alone with Eveline and Angio. I'll head over there. That'd be great, Manny. How about I take care of that electric schedule for you? If you don't mind fixing some hernias. Hey, anything to help out. Damn the cafeteria! <laughs> Poor guy's been sick for two days. I want him to stay clear of that. Also, book him. <laughs> How's the girl, Doc? She's hanging in there. Only by a thread, though. Yeah, well, you can just take your time with this next one. Single gunshot went to the abdomen, blood pressure in the low 90s, and wide open everything. Oh, our core's ready. Let's roll. Uh, we got a problem with the blood. Red Cross is nearly out of O negative. Well, then the whole staff needs to donate. Lester, that means you and your buddies over there. What? Uh-uh. No way are we going to open up our veins for this piece of crap. Can't operate without blood. Look, Doc, I'm supposed to have this morning off for my kid's school play. A fellow employee gets hurt, I'm here. Don't ask me to help the man who hurt her. 
I'm asking you to help replenish the county's blood supplies. I'm, I'm busy. Get Dr. Price to do it, instead of a bunch of stupid meetings about radiation badges. Good idea. I was only kidding. We set up a donor center over in the clinic. Care to join me? Maybe on my break. So while the whole hospital is working to take care of Eveline and her baby and all these others, you're going to be the weak link in the chain? Oh, come on, Doc. Not for this guy. What's your blood type? B positive. This is A negative. So you can donate a unit, and I'll give you a written guarantee he'll never get it. You decide. And get a fresh badge, please. I'll be in the clinic. With the Vargas family, please come to the window. The you heard the lady, you big fool. Window. Now get on over to that donor clinic right now so we can get these operations done. I'm going for Dr. Turner, not for him. What are you waiting for? You want me to give blood? No, I want you to push the damn gurney. I'll meet you in the OR. Following the shooting, the suspect was brought here to Angels of Mercy Hospital, which is the closest trauma center. Again, this is breaking news, so let me recap for you what we know at this point. I'm standing outside of Angels of Mercy Hospital. Where Dr. Turner. 30, 40, about... Simon Walker, Eveline's husband. These are her parents. This is her sister, Florence. Please. Eveline's injuries are very serious. We had to operate on her abdomen and remove her spleen, as well as several feet of small intestine. She can live okay without those? Yes, yes. During the surgery, the baby showed signs of distress, and we felt it was good to deliver the baby then, even though it was 15 weeks premature. You did a cesarean? We delivered a very small baby boy, just over a pound. His lungs are underdeveloped, so he's on a breathing machine in the neonatal ICU. Eveline developed a bleeding complication called DIC that sometimes occurs during labor. We had to remove the uterus. Wait. You're telling me that this little one-pound baby boy is the only child we're gonna have? Yes. TV said they brought the guy that did this here to Angels of Mercy? They brought a suspect. This hospital takes care of that kind of animal? It's not either or, sir. We take all comers. Well, how do I know he won't be getting treatment she needs because now you're putting all your attention on him? This entire hospital is seen to Eveline's treatment, Mr. Walker. You have my word on that. Excuse me. Talk about a bullet having eyes. Clamp. And you never seen one find its way between the aorta and the vena cava and miss both? It's more like the bullet failed to complete its mission. Cut, please. That'll stop most of the bleeding. You okay up there, Joan? Much better, Ben. Let's put some of this young talent to work, then. Little bowel sewing music, if you please. How <laughs> you talking? Soak stitch, please. Pickups. To let them bleed to death in the street, that's what you guys are saying? That's a little too deep. That's better. It just seems kind of weird to expend all this effort on a would-be rapist killer. Oh, you are not only lawless vigilantes, you are unsurgical. Mm. You're awfully sleep-deprived for a guy who's unsurgical. Uh -huh. Surgery's not just about the long hours, it's about your focus. It's about the way you approach your work. Well, we're busting our butts to save the life of a guy like this. Hey, case is a case, Doctor. You didn't make him a guy like this, and you didn't shoot him. Michael right next to Williams. Your job ain't as simple as to fix him up. Plug the holes, stop the hemorrhage. If you blood out in the street, you wouldn't be doing this great case right now. We'd be next door fixing hernias. All anastomosis beats a hernia any day. No argument here. Eveline's got a cardiac temp on her. I did a tap in the ICU. We are bringing her into room one. I'll scrub you out of here. Thanks, Manny. Sure, you're up to helping me. This is no time to be sick. Chest spreader. Pericardium's about to pop. Knife to me. Holy catheter and the big Satinsky ready. She's got ruptured ventricle. Give me the foley. That heart muscle looks like third string also buco. Oh, please. We need two oprolin double arm diplegids. I'm not sure if this tissue is going to hold sutures. Only one way to find out. We're borderline at best, guys. 
I hope you can fix it. Damn right, we can fix it. You ready? Mm-hmm. Have a line. If you are the Iron Lady, here comes your chance to prove it. Stitch. Walk in, finish your inventories for J. Cole. I have to talk to you about Eveline's baby. I got a call from Supervisor O'Malley's office. The supervisor has a senior aide whose wife is a neonatologist at Children's. I hate where this is going. The question was raised as to whether the baby should be transferred to Children's. There would be no shame, not at all. It's a complex problem. Too complex for Angels of Mercy? Our track record with very premature babies is marginal. Because we only get the sickest babies, mothers with no prenatal care. Now is not the time for a debate about mortality statistics. The supervisor is concerned, very concerned, that an adverse outcome with this baby under this kind of spotlight might deal a fatal blow. To our Jaco survey? Yes. Did Mr. O'Malley inquire about the child's blood gases, ventilator settings? Or did he just put a finger to the wind, sample the prevailing publicity, and send down a proclamation from Olympus? Mr. O'Malley isn't a doctor, Lillian, nor am I. But we share... Well, Anna Syfax is, and she hasn't left the child's bedside. I couldn't even get her to the phone, so I went up to the unit, we reviewed the case, and together we discussed all of the options. Including transfer? Yes. But Anna's confident she can turn the kid around. Each hour, the lung function is improving. And if transfer is the option we choose, the unit nurses all threaten to quit. Noble sentiments indeed, noble. But I still... Ron, this is a medical issue, correct? Primarily, but I... And I'm the medical director. I believe we agreed on that earlier today. We agreed that your principal area was... Ron, the baby stays. Dr. Ben Turner, head of surgery. Stuart Rafferty, this is my wife, Claire. We're Donald's parents. Your son had uh, multiple internal injuries, but we were able to get most of it repaired. We expect a uh, full recovery. Thank you, doctor. God bless you. Does your son have any significant medical history we should know about? Oh, he's been under psychiatric care for most of his life. Is he on medications? Excuse me. When he takes them, we have been to hell and back with this boy, doctor, in and out of hospitals, halfway houses, a jail, a couple times. Our life is spent waiting for phone calls. Must be very difficult for you. Doctor, how is a young mother and her baby? They both have critical injuries and a lot of mending to do. We'd like to speak to her family. I'm not sure if that's such a good idea. I, I don't doubt your motivation, but they may not be ready to listen. Now, my wife and I have talked about this. We can't undo what's been done. But there are a few things we need to say. Mr. Walker. We are very sorry that our son has caused your family so much agony and suffering. We are praying for the speedy recovery of your wife and her new baby. What is that? A hallmark greeting? I got a wife and I got a son barely clinging to dear life. We know that, and we are deeply sorry. You sorry to be the parents of an animal? Born that way or that's how we was raised, I don't know, but the results and responsibilities are the same. Mr. Walker. We have been living with this nightmare since her son was nine years old. Maybe that's when you should have locked him up in a cage. He's not an animal. He's a sick boy. We know what you're feeling, Mr. Walker. We're feeling an awful pain as well. You come in here to tell me that you know what I'm feeling? And that's supposed to make me feel better? It doesn't! That's right, go on and get up. Get out! You and your pain! Don't ask me to feel it, don't ask me to understand it, and don't you ever ask me to forgive it. Today. 
Nobody in the ER's eating a thing. I just ran over to grab some junk food to get us through the shift. Meaning you're not going to talk to me now either. I'm sorry I didn't call you back last night. As soon as I got home, I passed out on the couch. I woke up at 2 in the morning with a cat sitting on my head. <laughs> I told you, that cat was evil. She's sweet. Uh -huh. Dinner tonight? Uh, I can't. We're still swamped upstairs, and I've got a ton of stuff I've got to get ready for Jaco. Should I even bother asking about tomorrow night? Why do you say that? Well, since dinner at your folks, you've turned down every offer to get together. That dinner complicated things between me and my dad, Jeffrey. Much more than I've let on. I need some time to sort it out. Sorry, I never should have bullied you into taking me home. It wasn't your fault. Maybe you did us a favor of forcing us to finally deal with it. Ooh, pin a rose on me. <laughs> I promise I'll call you soon, okay? I gotta run. I'll be waiting. So we wouldn't even consider the use of ECMO before 35 weeks, and then only for very select indications. Okay, great job, everybody. I take teaching rounds to be a good sign. We're weaning the FIO, too, coming down on the pressure support. Everything's better, how small? Better, too. Dad's outside. Well, let's have him come in. How's he doing? We kept your young man on a ventilator, as I explained before, but all of the parameters that we monitor seem to be improving. So you think he's going to pull through? I think he is. Go on. Take a look at your son. I'll just be over here. Mama wanted this baby so bad. And she nearly missed a chance to ever lay eyes on him. All her hopes. It's a lot for a little fellow to carry. Those hopes will lift him up. Some kind of world where a man does his best to take this boy away from me. Only son I'm ever gonna have. Today, I almost lost him. You didn't, though. Then you're not going to. Yeah. Lucky me. Mr. Walker, you've got your boy, you've got your wife and family. And today, you learned you've got a whole hospital community that cares about you very much. Maybe you are lucky. The worst is behind you. And hopefully, it's the worst you'll ever have to go through. But now it's time to take stock of your blessings, man. And all that's been done on your behalf. Another family almost lost their son today, too. For them, the road back is a lot less certain. As of 4 p.m., Baby Walker, Eveline Walker, and Donald Rafferty are all listed in stable condition. Before taking questions, I have something to say. I'm the first to point a finger when the work is shabby because people are lazy, selfish, or irresponsible. Some of you here know that already. <laughs> what you might not know is that I'm also the first to point out with incredible pride and admiration when I cross paths with real life heroes. Heroes like Lester Bell and so many of you who helped our ill and injured by donating a pint of blood. Or Grace Patterson who kept the ER cranking without a hitch on what proved to be hey, the busiest day shift of the past 18 months. Like Anna Syfax who had to close her ears to a million silly distractions so she could give breath to a little newborn baby boy. If that ain't a doctor, I don't know what is. 
Then there's Eveline Walker, offering her very life to save that of another. The biggest hero of them all. That was today. But what about tomorrow, when the cameras are turned off and the reporters are gone? And it's just another morning in an old county hospital that some folks think ought to roll over and die. Hmm. Maybe we'll do just that. It could happen, people. Or maybe, just maybe, we'll rededicate ourselves to the spirit of shared commitment upon which this great hospital was built. Do that, and I promise you, we will be tomorrow what we were today. World class, a caring, giving place in which we can serve every member of our community with pride and with love. There's the choice. It's ours to make. shine champ we got one hell of a break today we're the top story on cnn and you lillian are my hero well you're not mine how could you ask us to transfer eveline's baby to children's well i thought they'd be better equipped to deliver the care the child needed excuse me <laughs> what you thought was you didn't want this hospital taking any political heat if that baby died. What difference does it make what I thought? You did what you did anyway, and it turned out you were right. All I'm saying is there was no place for politics in this situation. It's all politics, Doctor, including that brilliant little campaign speech you just made. I'm not running for anything, Ed. Oh, so you think I should tell UCLA the deal is off? Seems a shame. Dr. Burke has agreed to a early retirement. The chancellor has signed off on you as the replacement. The lawyers are spit shining the contracts for signatures right after we pass Jayco. So stop sulking and start shopping for a condo in Westwood. And give a holler if you have any trouble finding an honest realtor. son's birthday. And it is so beautiful. A little on the scrawny side, but time will take care of it. Mostly, I just need you to wake up and tell me his name. ourselves a boy to raise, okay? Florence is fixing to break the door now, so I'm gonna let her and your folks come in, and I'll be back later. Sleep tight, baby.
just had a chance to check on my wife and my son. And it appears they're both going to make it. That's good. I want to apologize about being hard on you a while ago. I was scared and angry and blaming you for someone else's deeds. And now I'm thinking what your boy did caused your family as much grief as mine. And for that, uh, you have my sympathy. Thank you. Okay, then. Better go. Dr. Turner, thank you. for you today, Lillian. Me? You saved three patients today. One of them twice. Given my druthers, I'd prefer a couple of hernias and a gallbladder. All this must have thrown quite a monkey wrench into your Jaco preparation. <sighs> Donald Rafferty did things for our Jaco preparations I couldn't have accomplished in three months. <laughs> Maybe even three years. He brought the whole hospital together. I'm gonna need someone to keep it together. It'll find someone. It has found someone. Maybe it'll find someone else. Anyhow, I just think it's time we call it a day. Mm. No tea at home. Too busy to shop lately. What about you? Had to stop by the uh, unit to check on Evelyn. Mm. Mr. Walker was paying her a visit and talking to her. It, it was something to see. What did he say to her? Couldn't hear, but I, I know they did. What was that? He took her hand in his. And I bet you he told her how much he loved her. And that no matter what might happen, that he'd be there for her. Always. <laughs> 